क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सिक्स से इज दैट इफ जेड इज इकल टू ए बाय बी देन मैक्सिमम एब्सोल्यूट एरर इन जेड विल बी डेल्टा एन डेल्टा बी आर एब्सोल्यूट एरर इन ए एन बी रेस्पेक्टिवली नाउ डे स्टूडेंट्स वी कैन राइट दैट डेल्टा जेड बाय जेड इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा ए बाय ए प्लस डेल्टा बी बाय बी यूजिंग द कंसेप्ट दैट वेन टू फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज आर मल्टीप्लाइड और डिवाइड देयर फ्रैक्शनल एरर्स आर एडेड Delta Z, which is the absolute error in Z, can be written to be equal to Z multiplied by delta A by A plus delta B by B. Herein, Z can be substituted from this expression. That is, Z is equal to A by B. Therefore, delta Z can be written to be equal to A by B multiplied by delta A by A plus delta B by B. If we multiply this particular term. Inside the bracket, we get delta a by b plus a delta b by b square. Therefore, the correct answer for this question should be option number four. Now, let us proceed to the question number thirty-seven. Question number thirty-seven says that if the value of two temperatures are T one is equal to forty point three plus minus zero point one degree Celsius. And T two is equal to seventy point two plus minus zero point two degree Celsius. Then the value of two T one plus two T two up to proper error limit is. Now, dear students, let us try to first find out the true value of two T one plus two T two. It will be equal to two into forty point three plus two into seventy point two. That is eighty. 0.6 plus 140.4. This will be equal to 221. Now to find out the error in 2t1 plus 2t2, we can write that 2 into 0.1 plus 2 into 0.2, which will be equal to 0.6. Now, dear students. The correct answer can be reported as 221.0 plus minus 0.6. Therefore, the correct answer for this question should be therefore option number two. Now let us proceed to the question number 38. Question number 38 says that if x stands for distance, then the value of n for which the given equation. That is integration of dx divided by under root of a square minus x to the power one by n is equal to sine inverse x by a is dimensionally correct is. Now, dear students, herein we can see that the RHS is a dimensionless quantity, and therefore LHS should be also dimensionless, since LHS is a fraction and the numerator has a dimension of length. Therefore, the dimension of the denominator should also be length. In other words, we can say that a square minus x to the power one by n should have a dimension of length square. That is, dimension of x to the power one by n should be the dimension l two. We can see that since the dimension of x is l as well, we can write l to the power one by n should be equal to l to the power two. Or n is equal to one by two. Therefore, dear students, the correct answer for this particular question should be option number four. Now, let us proceed to the question number thirty-nine. Question number thirty-nine says that which of the following option correctly matches the physical quantities given in column one with the appropriate dimensions given in column two? Now, four physical quantities and four dimensions have been given to us. Let us first write down the dimensions of each physical quantity. The dimensions of torque is m l two t minus two. The dimension of angular momentum is equal to m l two t minus one. The dimension of work Is equal to m l two t minus two, while the dimension of force is equal to 
एम एल टी माइनस टू इफ वी कंपेयर द डायमेंशन ऑफ दीज फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज एज पर गिवन ऑप्शन सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वी कैन सी दैट ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री करेक्टली मैचेस ईच फिजिकल क्वांटिटी विद देयर रिस्पेक्टिव डायमेंशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल ए इज मैच विथ टू which is perfectly correct as per the information given b which is angular momentum matches with option number 3 that is the option number 3 in the column 2 work matches with the second entry in the column 2 while force matches with the fourth entry in the column 2 therefore dear students the correct answer again as we repeat should be option number 3 now let us proceed to question number 40 Question number forty says that for a particle moving along a straight line, its position x is given by x is equal to two e to the power minus two t, where t is time. The relation between its velocity and acceleration a is given by. Dear students, the velocity can be written to be equal to dx by dt. Therefore, we can write velocity to be equal to differentiation of two e to the power minus two t with respect to t, which will be equal to minus four. e to the power minus 2t the acceleration can be written to be equal to differentiation of velocity with respect to time which will be equal to 8 e to the power minus 2t as we can see that the acceleration is minus 2 multiplied by v so therefore the correct answer for this question should be option number 3 now let us proceed to question number 41 